Hey Tubers, it's product review time. Today we have from Banggood, supplied for purpose of review, I think they say in the industry, a peak meter. Now this on the top of the box has got PM2008 and then on the underside of it, it's got PM2108. So at this point, I'm not really sure on what model it is. Uh, we've got another sticker here. That doesn't shed any more light on the story. I actually quite like these sorts of products because they're products that we can actually use. They're 45 American bucks delivered or something in the States. So it comes with a box. It's rectangular in shape. Uh, comes with instructions. Unfortunately, instructions are all in a different language. So this unit I got basically because of price. Uh, it was affordable to everybody and I hoped it would do what it would say it would do. So you get a clamp meter, it's actually nice and small, fits in your hand well, clippy thing, spring, spring feels very positive, um, you probably shouldn't bash it together like that I'm thinking. Uh, nice little carry bag with a handle, you know, all the usual stuff. Uh, now it does come with a couple of silicon cables and they're all tangled up as you would expect and they feel a lot better, they feel a lot better than anything I've gotten before and certainly on my old ones with all the tips all bent up uh, this one comes with and I thought this was very weird when I first looked at it but it actually comes with little covers so it protects the tips a little bit so I guess I'll be leaving them on there uh, I think that's actually a good idea now I won't pretend to know how to use these things but what I do know and what I wanted it for was the current uh, it's also a multimeter so you can go spin it around to the V and hit uh, select and then you can go from DC to AC so it does DC and AC. Okay so we've what I've done is I've hooked up, uh, we've got the IMAX, we've got my old multimeter and we've got the new multimeter. So this one's reading, what is it, 4.09 volts, this one is 4.12 and the IMAX is reading 4.1. So we're consistently inconsistent there. Did you expect anything else from that test? Right, let's go over here and we try the clampy function. Right here, yeah, we set this to AC because I believe these these current this is AC, and that's certainly the way we tested it the other day. And we hit min max, which should record it, and then we hit select, should zero it out. Okay, so let's try a couple of spot welds. We would get 449 amps. Let's try it again. Actually, we've got to clear it out. Three, two, one. That was a good one. 446.8. Try one more for consistency. Keep clearing it out. Uh, four, five. You see that? 4536 amps. All right, let's see if we can use it on a little tiny one amp current DC and see what happens. So we go back. What have we got? So we go lipo charge, hold that down. Now this is almost charged, so it's 4.1 volts. So it's putting in 0.9 of an amp. Can we see that? There we go, 0.9 of an amp. Now we change this over to, we've got it on DC, zero it all out, run there nice and gentle, there we go, now it's now it's showing 0.8 of an amp. Right here, one more test, all right, grab my multimeter out, put it on amps, put one clip there, So that is the positive, we put that one there, so that resets, so we'll have to go program, go back to charge, that's showing 4 amps, or oh, 0.4 of an amp, sorry, and that's saying 0.46 of an amp, so that's not bad, and that's probably not the most efficient way to actually test that. Let's do some more tests, plug it all in, get some fancy lights. Righty eight. So now that is discharging, and that is again that will be DC, not AC. So we got it on DC. Right, that is saying it is discharging at 27.9 amps. Grab the meter. We'll carefully place it around there. There we go. 
That's saying 28 amps. Versus, what have we got over here? 27.5 amps. Versus 27, almost 28 amps. So there we go, tubers. That actually works. What else can we try? Let's take it down to the battery shed. There we go, we worked out how to get the backlight on. Little button here for two seconds. The BL hold button and it shuts down again after a while. Backlight works and it's got a little light there. Never knew that. Well, that's handy. It's doing about 15 amps there on the computer screen. And then if you come down to here, it's displaying about 20 amps. So it's not perfect. I don't know whether it's the Batrium or this that's out. I'm going to put my money on this. Anyway, tubers, that's a review on the Banggood. I've got to start saying that right. Peak clamp meter. Now rest assured, I'll have a link below where you can purchase this product because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'll also let you know if any problems arise in the next few weeks. Similarly, if you have something you can teach me about this, be much appreciated. And see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.